Hi Unity fans, I uploaded the Unity project for opening the door to my Patreon account and you can download it from there for free. I changed a few things, so let's have a look at the results first. Start the game and see what we get. I have an FPS controller, as you know, and when this player enters the trigger of the door, there is an overlay now. And when I press the E key, the door is opened. And when I come back, the door is closed again and I have to press E to open it. So let's see what I changed to make this possible. It's actually quite simple. I have to add a canvas, like so, and then I added a text to this canvas. Let's change to 2D mode to see it better. Now add the text. And I'll type in, press E to open. Okay, now set the alignment of the text, horizontally and vertically. And now I add a panel so that this text is better to be seen. I just use the default background image. You can change this if you like and use a different one. I set the width to let's say 250 and the height to 100 that's okay and by default this panel will be invisible perhaps increase the text a little bit okay that's good enough and now let's come back to my door script i will add a public member variable called open panel and this panel will be assigned in the unity editor so that we can refer to it. I also set the parent of the trigger for opening the door to the parent object not the door itself. This leads to a problem because when opening the door the trigger also moves and I don't want this so I set it to the parent and therefore I had to change the door script and get the reference to my door from the child of this object because the script also is now attached to the parent. In the on trigger enter I set the open panel to active and when the FPS player exits the trigger the open panel active state will be set to false and the door will be closed. To close it I set the open parameter of the animator to false. I show the logic of the animator in a couple of seconds. I wrote an isOpenActive method. This is a helper method to check if the panel is active. And in the update method I check if the panel is active and the user pressed the E key. And if this is the case I open the door and set the active state of the panel to false. Okay, last but not least let's have a look at the animator controller. We already had this transition from empty to opening the door and now I added a new transition to close the door. So how is this implemented? We have this parameter open and if it is set to true we open the door. If it is set to false we close the door and this can be done by just setting the speed of the open door animation to negative 0.7. You could also do it faster negative 0.2 or 1 whatever but the key is we set it to a negative speed and after that we return to the empty state okay that's it as i said i uploaded the project to my patreon account download it from there for free the link is added here and to the description thanks a lot for watching and really hope to see you soon back here on my channel on jnm